So, uh, as you guys know, last episode we beat the main game, well, the main missions in the game. Uh, and today we're starting off with our life as John Marston. Uh, last episode we got a little preview. We stopped in Strawberry with uh, Annabelle and older Jack. John now has a beard. We're no longer living the life of crime. And we're looking for some honest work. And we ended up uh, going to Strawberry, finding a farm uh, down the way that was not in the original game. It was built up. And uh, we ended up getting a job over there. I don't know exactly what we'll be doing working for that farm. But uh, we're going to find out today. So thank you guys again for coming and joining me today. I do appreciate it. Load this up. My man, John Marston. So this is years later. Um, so my my plan for the epilogue here, obviously we're going to play through the epilogue, um, but uh, we're also going to do the rest of the legendary hunts and the fish. And we're going to also go down, go around and try to find any uh, side quests I haven't done and any notable Easter eggs that I haven't found. That's what I plan on doing, at least with, with this, with the rest of this epilogue. Shannon, how are you doing today? Go Rage, what's up, brother? Mm. There we are. John Marston. Yo, I like John with a beard, man. Okay, so, um... Yeah, this is our life now. We, we, uh, we work on a farm. Um, this is where we're staying. I have no access to any weapons or anything. I do have, like, binos. Uh, but when it comes to, like, guns and shit, John doesn't have any. I don't even know if we have a knife. Yeah, we got the UFO. Yeah, so this is our place that we're staying, our cabin. Uh, where the hell is Annabelle at? And Jack. But yeah, so this is our spot. It's pretty nice. You know what I mean? We're doing what we're doing all right. We just gotta earn our keep now. So it's saying I have a horse in the area. Is that actually mine? Good night, bud. Just trying to see what this horse is. Rachel. That's a big ass horse right here. What kind of horse is it? Thoroughbred. It's saying that thoroughbred's mine? We'll see. All right, let's go. Uh, let's head over to the main cabin. Let's figure out what the hell we're doing in this farm. What do we got to do to earn our keep? Michael did. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. Damn thing. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here, something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Gotta earn our keep. We gotta earn our keep. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, 
Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? <laughs> oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Zach, how you doing, brother? Oh, I said Milton. Annabelle. I meant Abigail. Jim yeah. Milton. How fine you <laughs> seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Damn, she already found, she already found out. Like, how does she not understand? That's the only reason why we're even here. Cows. Come on, I'll do it. You hey, are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. Though so she nagging oh. big time. We just Where started, from, dude. Anyway, partner. Around. Around. There it know, is. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well... It ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, ah, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. A gunslinger. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Andrew Bell. In the chat. No relation to Micah Bell, right? Because if there, if, if, if there better be no relation, Andrew Bell. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. <laughs> None <milking>? whatsoever. <laughs> you know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. All right, so we just milk, right? Look at me! Look at me! It's easy, right? Almost got a pail full. <laughs> Bro, I'm a pro. That's you. How you hey, doing? Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. That's enough, Jim. We all gotta earn our Come keep. On. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. <laughs> Matthias said, wish it were that easy, IRL. <laughs> so in real life, it's not that easy to milk a cow, guys? How old you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. 
We'll do it. I need to try to I, I need to try to milk a cow one of these days, guys. See how see what it's really like. Well, head so I hope it was a good dream. And not like okay. a, like one of them bad well, dreams where something stalls cleaned out and I'll see you later. Bye. Where something devilish okay. happened to me or you. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. Boy. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. All right, so yes, we're, just, we're just shoveling shit. This is it, guys. <laughs> Hold on. Went from gunslinger to shit slinger. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. This is easy, though, man. Moving up. Earning our keep. I can do this. Look at this horse shit. Ugh. Hey. We gotta earn our keep. Come on, boy, you better get you better get get good. Stop plugging the nose. <laughs> Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Boom. Oh. He's mad about his name. Yeah, see, I don't mind working here, guys. It's it's a peaceful life. Especially for Jack, you know. Kid's been through it, been through it, you know what I mean? It's such a young age. For a terror of the turds. You know, we got our wagon here. I still, yo, this thoroughbred is really mine? See what see what she has to say. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. There it is. See, Caspi, it's all good, dude. We solved it. I'll put some coffee on. So we made what three dollars? Okay, let's see here. So, let's see, we're heading to town. Is there any? What is this? That's for milking. Got the trapper over there. Got Hamish over here. That's far as hell, though. And we're not into that life anymore, though, guys. We're not. We're not living the life. We're we're a rancher now. Michael Iris, how you doing today, brother? Alright. Yeah, yeah. So we're coming here, we'll get some milking done. That's a big ass cow right there, dude. Holy shit. Look at that thing. That's a Florida cracker cow. 
That's a mouthful. They are massive. That's a big ass cow, man. Looks standard size to me. Yeah, all right, dude. All right, let's see. Uh, so no milking to be done. All right, so we got DG and TD. Um, we'll go do. We'll go see what TD has for us. What's up, brother? Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Zach, dude. Thank Zach you so much. $15. Love this dream, Brian. That is well, huge. I really appreciate it, brother. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Okay. Don't think too hard about it. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Okay. Fine. You're doing all right. Building us a fence. Good. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. I hope you've grasped the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. Got it, partner. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Lunch time. Jim Milton, over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. And we made some progress, dude. Okay. Hurry. Hurry. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. I'm coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Uh, come on! Move! Uh, oh. 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 Uh. Shit! I'll get him! Just... 
Bro, I just, I just built that fence. No, you don't. No, 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 no. No! Look at that Okay. Bro, bro, I played Elden Ring. Played Elden Ring, dude. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, he's fucking trying to get me, dude. Gotcha. How am I gonna calm this thing down? You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Oh, there. Oh, there. Easy. Easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. There, there. There, there. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of chuck. Stubborn, ain't you? <laughs> Let's go. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, Where son? Where did they go? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. <laughs> now I gotta go fix that fence. Headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Working hard, guys. Working hard. So we're making like three dollars a day. It's, you know, it's not like big bucks or anything like we used to make but what are we what are we sitting at now we got about 17 dollars to our name we got some valuables that we could still sell though if we really need to we get a chance to go into town the only problem is like i said we don't have any weapons we're just a normal guy well, we could take a ride down to strawberry though what do you guys think Take a ride down to Strawberry, sell off some of these valuables. Maybe buy a gun. You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with owning a, owning a gun. All right, let's head over to Strawberry. I mean, I don't need a gun, but I do. I, I, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind uh, at least selling off my valuables. You know what I mean? I don't need a gun. I won't. I won't buy a gun, guys. But we will take it. Oh, there is no gun store in Strawberry, right? Or a fence? Yeah, you're right. I'm not even gonna be able to sell this shit. That's true. Yeah. So, skirt. <laughs> Maybe me having a gun um, isn't the best idea anyways. You guys are you guys are quick for me to do the missions. You guys aren't enjoying our new life. 
guys are you guys are enjoying our our new life as John Marston? I know we could go fishing, guys. I mean, well, we got we, we do got work to do. I don't know if we can really just go fishing. You did good. I feel like if we uh and Junction donated twenty dollars. Go buy a Missouri Fox Trotter, best horse in the game sold in Blackwater, Mr. Milton L O L. <laughs> Andy with a huge donation. Thank you so much, brother. I really do appreciate it, man. Seriously, thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I, it, we don't need a gun, you know what I mean? We are living a simple life. Guns would probably only get me in trouble. But yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely got to get to work. Where are my other hands? Damn it, Abe. Abe? Mr. Geddes. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Now, this guy's got big money. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. And since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some... Business with them boys or something? Oh, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. What is he going for the, the, for the there. women? Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. Morning. Where's Duncan at? Oh. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Well, okay, hey, be yes, careful, yes, kid. That horse will kill you. One. That's Jeremiah. Relax. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Settle down, okay? Whoa, none of that. Hey. You done? Come on. He's still got that wild look in his eye. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me. And behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? He ain't. It, I'm supposed to go help your mother. <laughs> Venom, I'm married, bro. I, I got, I got, a, I got a, uh, a wife. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, Ever. sir. Please. Okay. Got it. Let me ride him a bit first. You're okay. okay. You're okay. I'm waiting in the corral. So we gotta tire him out. There you are. So we got to deplete his stamina. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? 
Didn't have a whole lot of stamina to begin with. Come on. Let it all out of you. Yeah, I got three kids, Venom. Let's get a lather up. I can tire a hot horse out. Good. I'm good at that. Everything you got. Come on. All right, let's bring him back over to Jeremiah. So where do we got to bring him at? Over here? All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa. And he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll. Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry. I know, about kid. All why are you worried about all that? You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but, but. Just worry about the horse. Yeah. Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. This is his wife, Duncan, right? What have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. Well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. Oh, shit. We got a bad track record with, with people's wives. Ask Henry. So, oh. You know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh, my God. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. Damn. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Got him. Okay, now hold on and pull. Oh, I lost it. Get a hold of it again. Didn't come. It's coming out one way or another. <laughs> Grab them again. Hold them, Milton. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. All right, well, I hope so. Don't get too touchy. Thank I got you. a wife. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? 
I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, See? Mr. Milton. See? Try to get me. They tried to get my ass. Wash up in this rain bucket. Dude, you ain't even gonna wash your hands? Oh, well, I got that little pony over here for uh, Jack now. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Have I been to, no, I've never been to India before, no. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. All right, Jack. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. Wait, we just left. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident. Okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. That's good speed right there. You know, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. You know, this is such a better life for, for him, you know what I mean? Even faster, come on! Faster? He doesn't have to worry about, uh... You know, bandits or... Being killed or robbed or stolen or none of that, you know what I mean? How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. We can go even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. Now really stick your boot in. If you say so. Come on, boy. Okay. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir.
Little Driscoll farm was over here somewhere. We took out with uh, Sadie. Nice little crick here. Here we are. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! So you guys know me. No participation trophies here. I go all I'm out. Winning. I go all out. Get good, kid. Get good, kid. Get good, kid. <laughs> hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. Whoa. No, I'm just kidding. I won't do him like that. Go. Good job, Jack. There you go. Oh, he's pulling ahead. He's pulling ahead. Put that all. Oh, I'm putting on the Jets. Putting on the Jets. Let's go, Jack. Last straight. Come on. I let him win. I let him win, guys. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Damn, I should have beat his little ass. Is that gunshots? Watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> oh, oh, how did... Okay, partner. Kick his ass, sea bass. Does anybody know... Oh, come on, come on, but... John got hands, bitch. You couldn't clean my boots. What's up? Oh, he's licking you, boss. It's like that. <laughs> what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? Huh? Huh? Jim, Jim, get off that man! Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. What the? Ugh, what is she talking about? What is she talking about? We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You 
You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You told Master. me. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. I'm mad at Abigail. We'll go. We're gonna talk to, to the boss. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Milton? Damn, he's probably pissed about us beating the shit out that Mr. dude. Gettys? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but but my family. It's uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, guys. Crystal strawberries, right, the away. wife's special. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Sam! They got Dickens! Over by the stables! Get your boss. It's over. It's Richmond. Uh. Who's this? New hand? Watch it burn! There's some bullets here with your name on them! Put them down, Wait. all right? Jim? Cleaning their ass up. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in. It's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll leave the... Yeah, so what kind of guns do we have here? We got a Schofield and a Cattleman's. John's Cattleman Revolver. We got a Lancaster. I'm gonna repeat and shoddy. Hey. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Oh, are they down in this uh, old O'Driscoll farm? Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. 
Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep. Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn? I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough! Come have a word with me! You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. You ought to turn around and go. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of them. Yo, the, uh, um, his dead eye is a different animation. It's like a, it's like a, shoo, instead of like that slow motion thing that Arthur had, it's like a different sound effect. You hear it? That's a bad. This Jim. This gun here. What is this? Let's get back. Come on, let's go. Got myself a pump. you done you're gonna pay all right you and your wife that's the fella who shot my feet where are you big fella piss sinking shoveling backwoods sacka no good trash Bitch, this is what you wanted? Too easy. You wanted another one of these? Okay. Okay. He's kicking my ass. He's got hands today. He's got hands today. He's got hands today. You 
know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand. There it is. Alright, let's go check upstairs, see what these guns are that are laying around. That's a sawn off. So that looks like Arthur's hat, doesn't it? It is Arthur's hat! Yeah, I remember Arthur gave it to him. Um, so what if, if we, did we have that on this whole time? I, I wasn't really paying attention to the hat we were wearing. So John busts out the guns and then he busts out Arthur's hat. That's just how it is. They go hand in hand. probably just caused a lot of trouble for this farm doing that. I don't know how this is going to work out for us. We'll have to see. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah. Uh. That weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Yo, it's the exact opposite. We did good. Oh, don't fucking start. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? What is wrong with her? What does she want the farm to get burned down and everybody killed? Oh, Abigail's pissing me off, guys. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Frustrating the shit out of me. We gotta trim this beard though. Is there a um I don't know if we can shave back at the Oh we fucked up. Yo, you go in the bullpen, they try to get you. I don't know if we can shave in here. Oh, hey, getting on. Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Oh, I got the grass, Russell guys. horses, not raised them. 
stole cattle, I not fucked up. birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Talking a lot of shit, Just man. Feels hopeless. You're, you're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. So her dream, she said to buy a little house down near Blackwater somewhere? It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something? Well, Ma was wrong about that. I played RDR 1 a billion years ago. Um, it's been a really... With a family Holy family. shit, yeah. Gary. Upgraded to Here. veteran survivor. Want to take the reins, that little? is huge, brother. Thank you so ah, much. No <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, but I'll uh, be playing it after this. What do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then... Pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. So I'm eating these strawberries, guys, but you just can't eat the grass. It's can't do it. I gotta peel it off. I'll leave a couple pieces because it's like embedded into the candy. Ah. That's enough for now. Back in strawberry, hey kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? We ever gonna get to Strawberry going like this? Damn, Tucker. Oh, bro, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Eating strawberries while traveling to Strawberry. Look at that. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. <laughs> See, I, I, right. I wouldn't want to do either are. or Bad Wolf. You all right, son? Sure. Mike Storm, you thank you so much for... I, I, I'm i glad you're loving here. the videos. I won't be long. Okay. So this is the city of Strawberry. Behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to... Name? My name? Um... Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try 
Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Shit. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Is that dude back there? He's okay. acting shady. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. How does that dude, random dude in Strawberry, remember John Marston? Come ah. on, dude. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Just a bit faster now. Huh. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. That's no, that shady dude. Driving. Slow it down. That's that shady dude. Don't want to seem like we're running away from anything. Uh, okay. Whoa. Yeah. A little slower. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. If I had a gun, I'd be able to deal with them. You know how we take care of witnesses. Too fast. Ha! Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. Have you seen something? Worry about what's in front of us. I think we lost them. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. But we're still you fucking there. The horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Oh. Yep. All right, this is bad. This is getting really, really bad, guys. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pog, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! 
Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister! <laughs> Close. Let's go. Shit. Abigail's gonna be Come pissed. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for almost 200 likes already on the stream. I really do appreciate it. Um, it seems like it's real hard for John to really escape that life, man. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. Hey, up. you were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. This is slow. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There. You'd think he would be used to it, you know, everything he was around when he was a kid. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Home. That's right. Peacher's Home. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. It wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. You gotta calm down. You're gonna get my ass in trouble. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. We're screwed. Say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. Uh, what the fuck was I supposed your to- dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. I can't do nothing right, dude. <laughs> I can't do nothing right. 
Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. You're probably in trouble. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. We're probably caught. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. What? Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. No way. Um. Okay, I don't see this going well, but. It's fucking Sadie, guys. We have to. We got to check it out. Nope, wrong house. Uh. That's if Abigail lets us go. Abigail! There's a letter on the fucking table, dude. What did I... There we go. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you, part of you is hellbent on ending up the same way. We didn't even do I anything. too much to watch that no more. Abigail. My shirt or a vest? What is it? The hell does she think I'm a banker? <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. I mean, listen, everything that John's done so far, I don't understand why Abigail's mad. Like, we didn't have a choice. Like, she wanted us to live here and make a better life for ourselves. 
if John didn't defend this ranch, they would have burned it down and killed everybody. Like he did what he needed to do. And then we got followed from what were we supposed to do? Let him kill us and kill Jack. Like it doesn't make any sense. It's not like John, like we were out there looking for trouble. Fence we gotta finish here. Professional ranchers now, guys. New leaf confirmed. Like this leaf right here on the back of the strawberry. I'm peeling that shit off because you can't eat that. You gotta pull the grass off. Strawberry grass is not for eating. I want to know where the hell's Abigail been in the past right, few full. the past few months. Hey, you know I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? How's she getting money? money. How's she making money, guys? Offer me some guidance. No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. How's she been getting on, guys? If they left for months, how's she been getting on? <laughs> Where's she been staying? Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Hmm. Experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've <laughs> he took over Edith Downs man. Corner. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Yo, are we really about to get a loan and try to...
Tahiti, baby. <laughs> There's the good old Marston vest. Make sure it's a fixed term. Okay, so what weapons do we have here? Ooh. Okay, nice. We got our guns that we had when we were using playing as Arthur. So we got Ebony and Ivory. We do, guys. We got Ebony and Ivory. Beautiful. You're good Philly. All right, so let me see. Where is this loan at? Oh, down in Blackwater. Yeah, so we're gonna head down there. We're gonna do. We're gonna do that first. Let's let's look into getting this loan before we go getting involved with Sadie. That that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad for business. So we're gonna head down here in Blackwater. We haven't been in Blackwater before. This is uh. This area was locked off and. In the story. Big old world sure got me running around. I heard a voice. Oh, it's probably definitely demonetized. Down. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with his feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? So we're going to go try to get ourselves a loan so we can buy a place. I wonder how nice this place is going to be. Turning over a new leaf, guys. Whoa, did I say for sale? Skirt! State. Now I see into the eyes of a girl. No more, no more cruel world. Cruel yeah, they're building a lot of houses all over the map, guys. Oh, small, but hey. Where are you going? A dusty trail Saw a vapor light Was it a mirage? I don't know, but it seemed right I felt mission, I felt trust I knew then that I must go to her from this cruel world. Cruel, cruel world, must I go on? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too wrong. Cruel, cruel world. 
lot of the map is being like modernized. They're building houses, chopping down trees. I think I seen telephone poles back there. the poles. That uh, Indian reservation thing is still there. Still burnt down too. So yeah, we have not been to this uh, this area of the map ever. I think we came down here with Arthur to like this water yes, here. Kind of, kind of dry here. It's gorgeous though. Look at it. Oh, this get like real deserty here. Guys, I want to thank you for almost 300 likes on the stream. Damn, look at this city, man. It, it is dry as hell here, I'll tell you what. People just sitting out on a stoop. Stoop kid never leaves his stoop. Does anybody know where that's from? They're building some kind of big building here. Pleasant morning. There it is, Polly. It's a hell of a city here, too. It's obviously not industrialized, like, in, like, super, super advanced, nah, like, San Denis, because that's a it very eastern city. But you can see now the west is starting to build up quite a bit. Nice town here. Hard. Watch yourself. Excuse me, partner. What'd you say? New leaf. We're good. Let it. We'll let it slide. Um, is there a barber here in this town? There is. You know what? Before we go into the bank, let's let's go make ourselves not look like cavemen and try to not get in any trouble. Hi there. Hey, Mister. Creeping on that woman? Ma'am? Huh. 
How do you do? Welcome. Please, take a seat. Now, I do like the beard on Marston. Draken, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. Okay, so... Trim it down. How's everything going? I just don't know. Yeah, I'll keep it like this. We'll just trim it down. Right, we'll trim down the beard a little bit. Damn, we're at a seven. So that's John with nothing. But we'll leave it at a three. Yeah, we'll leave it at a three. Should we should we throw the pomade on for the bank? That's looking slick. Hello. Beauty, how you doing? Just cleaning up John Marston here. It's a nice city though. Should we throw on some better clothes? Um, let me see. Let me see what kind of clothes we can get off the horse. I don't know if we have any outfits saved. We could go buy a new outfit, though. Come on, then. Yeah, let's go over to the... Uh... <laughs> Go over to the clothes shop. We're trying to get a loan here, guys. We're trying to get a loan. There we go. We got an outfitter over here. Watch the post, girl. Easy, boy. Hello. Come on in. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, let me see. Uh, outfits. We got the jo the Josiah. That looks pretty clean. Let's see. We still look like a gunslinger, though. Ooh, that's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. That's really clean. Could we please get this over and done with? Seeing that outfit, guys, and it kind of just hit. Hit right here. It reminded me of Arthur. <clears throat> and I, uh... Yeah, I can't even buy this stuff. Yeah, I only got $17, guys. <laughs> oh, we are poor. Um, Christopher, thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, I got 17 bucks. Um, let me see. Is there a fence around there? I do got some jewels I could sell. Fence, 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 fence. Uh, I think there's a fence right here. That's over. Is that storm coming in? Yeah. Get out of the way, damn you. Yeah. John, I appreciate it, brother. Yeah, it's 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 kind of crazy, man. It is. Now, we, we're going to have money right here, guys. Great rat, thank you for the sub. Or is this not a... I don't, no, this ain't a fence. This is just a general store, I think. And Sean, thank you for the sub.
Is this a fence, guys, or is this the general store? Let me see. Index. Yo, that's just the general store. Yeah, this, the fence has the X in it. Yeah, I'm looking for the X. Um. So what we could do, I guess, is... uh. Andy, thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate it. The dressing room in the shop is free to use. All your clothes are in there. I don't have I don't know if I have anything nice though from from Arthur. Yeah, we ain't got a fence around here. Let's go see if I have access to the rest of my clothes. We'll see if uh, we have any hand-me-downs from Ar Arthur. Don't chew your reins off, Missy. Munzee, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. I really appreciate all the support, guys. All right, outfits. We got Gunslinger, we got the Brawler, Ruffian, Rebel, Innocent, Sewer, Cavalier, Corson. Wow. Yo, that shit is clean, dude. That jacket is clean, John. Homesteader, the Rancher, Rebel. I really do wish you would hurry this along. Right, let me see. I, I, let me see if I have any... This is pretty clean. Let me see for so let me see if I throw on a Thompson vest. Um, I go with French dress. Right? Okay, hats. Uh well, you're welcome to try out your wardrobe in the changing room. No hat. No hat. We're, we're gonna we're gonna look nice and clean. Alright. Um Coats. All right, we got a nice duster right there. It's a little dirty. Can we please get this over and done with. I Man, I think that's pretty clean, right? Let's get. Let's see. We got some. Uh, got some pants. Ooh, we got some fancy pants. What colors, though? No, their color ain't going to cut it. I don't want some black every days. Let's see if we have any nicer boots. We got the Preacher Prides, the Deluxe really Relentless. You would hurry this along. Okay, those are clean. Um,. I actually don't like the color of those. Uh, I guess, it, yeah, it's good. It's good. Could we please get this over and done with? All right, I think we look pretty clean, guys. Hey, now, you cannot be over there. Relax, my friend. Never mind. I suppose that's done, then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I changed the gloves, but I don't think the gloves will matter all that much. I, I, I think we look respectable. We're looking respectable, you know what I mean? John cleans up nice. I got my hair pomaded to my, my skull.
Couldn't ask for a better day. Look out! We are surely blessed. Right, here we go. I mean, you think this bank's gonna have? Ooh. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? I know. Well, yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Right, here we go. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. No way. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Wait, is this going to actually give me a... Check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Now, is this going to actually give me like a negative deficit in my money? Like, I wonder if I actually have to come make payments on the loan. That'd be pretty funny. All right, girl. All right, well that that worked out. That worked out nice. No way, dude. No way, dude. Gavin? It's been a law. Uh, it's been like years. Where is he? Looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me. He's still at Gav? it. He's looking rough. Gav? I've lost my friend. Wow, that was Somebody crazy. help me, please. I hear you. Hey, partner. I'm. I'm looking for my friend and Gavin. For Gavin. Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. Few years, few bloody years. <laughs> I can't um, I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking for him, but I don't know who he is. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> I wasted my life. I wasted my life looking. I looked, but I never saw. I saw nothing. <laughs> Kevin. Good luck. Kevin. Oh. I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Poor dude, uh -huh. man. Gav! Jake, thank you so much for hanging out, Where brother. He's still looking for Gavin. Alright, so they you? said there's uh, some squatters up at our new place. So let's go get that cleared out. We shouldn't have to kill anybody, though. This is really Gavin! Gavin! My plan is to do this as clean as possible. We turned over a new leaf. You know what I mean, guys? We're gonna have to do some hunting here, too. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna have to do some hunting, get us some venison type meats. You see somebody on the side of the road, you gotta be careful, you know what I mean? I'm just a blind what the fuck? Did you guys see that? Hey, hey, easy. Man alive! Hi there. Holy oh shit, dude. There's too many Thank people you. around to loot the bodies, but. They were full of arrows. Holy hell. Throw my mask on, I guess. Oh, no, 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 pick up the body, dude. No, 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 put her down. Drop her, John. John, drop it. Yo, they got lit up, dude. The Skinner brothers? Tossing hell. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I'm just a blind old fool. Don't be Come on, dude. We're only, we're, we're only sitting on like 17 bucks right now, dude. I don't know what I can do for you. <laughs> I don't know what I can do for you, partner. Fool for love. Help a blind man. A dollar? He wants a whole dollar? Okay. Sure. I only have 17. They will come for you, friend. And when they do, you will not have a choice. But you have lived better than most. Well, okay then. A little foreshadow in there, don't you think? Okay, Missy. I have nothing more for you now. A whole dollar for that, guys? We already knew that. Old man's over here dropping them story spoilers, eh? <laughs> Where the hell is this property at? We're playing RDR 1 after this, guys. Yeah, so we're going to transition from Red Dead Redemption 2 to Red Dead Redemption 1. And uh, we'll just... Because I haven't played that game in a billion years. I don't even remember the story. I just know I... Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let me get the Evans. Grab my Corcano. Hell, man. And we're gonna move down here, dude? What the hell? There's like... <laughs> this doesn't seem safe. Doesn't seem safe at all. 
Mm, do we have any food for our horse? I got an Go apple. On, girl. We gotta get some. We gotta get some food for our horse too. See if we can get some money off these bodies. Oh. Body. Damn, what happened to his fucking face? Bodies, so I think the horse took up. Oh, I think they're over here. I didn't do that to his face, I was too far away. Right, we're up to $22. That's respectable, right? Never heard of this gang before. Damn! People eyeballs just falling out of their fucking head. You're a good girl now. I see one more over here. Easy now. Damn, did his eyeball fall out too? Dude, this guy looks like a, he might be. He looks like he might be. Damn, no, what the hell's up? Everybody's eyeballs are just fucking popping out their heads. Oh, he lost both eyeballs! Let's go, girl. It's crazy. Get those plants. Yeah, what kind of plants are those? Uh, these are some kind of mushrooms here. Parasol mushrooms. It is beautiful out here in the desert at night. Gotta be careful to make sure we don't get any uh, cougars or anything like that coming to attack us. These are new plants here. Current? Current? It's a dead eye herb. Can we eat and refill? Oh shit! Okay. All right. I think we're getting close to the. Yep, it's right down this road up here. This is our place. Don't you think? Hmm. No way, bro. I spent money on that? That's not a ranch. That's a fucking shed that sits outside of a ranch. Lucifer, thank you so much, brother, for the donut. I appreciate it. In all my time playing Red Dead, I've never been able to make my enemy's eyes pop out. You're truly a savage lord. 
This isn't the actual place, is it? Abigail is not gonna be happy. Can I help you, friend? Bro, they could fucking keep it, dude. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. Brandon, thank you so much for the sub. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Listen, partner. I can give you guys some money. Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> you a real gentleman. Okay, boys. Let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Here it is, guys. I didn't have to kill anybody. I gave him 10 out of my fucking $22. I should have shot all of them. Turned over a new leaf, guys. Try to prove to the world I'm not the savage you guys think I am. Now, how much are we owed? Not you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure? about buying this place. It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. Deborah, At thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, sign here and here. How much, though? How much? How much? Tabra, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Seriously, thank you. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, but they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. Dave Sees, thank you so much for the sub, brother. Deborah, holy crap. Thank you so well, much. Hell, it is you. Well, I never. Welcome I, to the family. I thought you was dead, uh, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No. <laughs> David, for thank you for so much for the membership. Well, Welcome to the family. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. Well, let me take a second. Deborah. I really appreciate another super chat. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for the support. And guys, thank you for almost 350 likes on the stream. You guys are awesome. David B., welcome to the family. Let's get some hearts in the dead. chat for all the love, guys. <laughs> not yet. Well, Uncle. I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. No, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. <laughs> Have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> See, 
With the super chat, here's some money to put down to that you got shit shack you just bought. Get on it. And okay. Deborah again with the Follow super me. chat. Thank you so much. Holy crap, guys. Deborah's going absolutely ham right now. Oh, we just we just recruited us an uncle, guys. West. West. Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... <laughs> a ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Oh, I want a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the Deborah, money. Deborah, holy oh, crap. Worse. Thank you so much. Yeah, you can <laughs> run from a bounty, Let's John. get some hearts, you guys. Can't run from a bank. Is that having too there? much fun with no. it. Thank you so Jeez. much. Uh, her and Jack are waiting until I'm set no, up. No, they're not waiting, John. Here. Don't lie. They <laughs> left my ass. You mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. And Deborah, I'm, hey, uh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it more than you know. Uh, it really means a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Seriously, it, 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 look at this place. So does it tell us how much we're in debt? Or we haven't really unlocked, or we have not, or is the debt not like an actual like thing? What the hell is this little shack? This is it. Look at her. John, it's it's nothing, brother. It's it's just it's Okay. It's bad. Deborah with the big ten. What do you Thank think? you so Why much. Exactly. Did you buy this dog? You gotta read the deal. Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but Deborah, again, thank you so much for the love. I do appreciate it. Lumbago. How you gonna build a fence before you build a house, brother? It's still a little shack, dude. What are those? American Proghorn? Deborah, thank you again for the super chat. We had to get some uh we had to get some dinner, guys. Ah uh, yeah. Hey, look at this. That's a big ass fence. We gotta, we gotta bring home dinner. Yeah, I'm this good a hunter. <laughs> I 
I don't think uh, Abigail's gonna be too impressed with this. I'm just saying. Gutting over here. I can cook it over here. Yep. So yeah, so definitely cook this. Blue assassin. Towards your new home and Abigail and Jack. <laughs> Blue assassin, thank you so much. That is huge. Holy crap! Thank you, thank you. Hey, you guys see? We're we're gonna put some hard work into this place. It's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be so nice. Again, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Wait, wait. Was that all the... F Why was I only able to craft one piece? I only got one piece of meat out of that whole prog horn? David B with the super chat. Keep up the good streams, Ryan. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying them. All right, so I'm going to try to hunt me some, uh, another piece of venison here because, yeah, that didn't really, that didn't really do it for us. I should be able to peg one of these elk. Slow it. Shot the damn rock. Slow now. So let's see here. Uh, you guys said I can go check the my bags, right? I can, I can get an idea of telegram from Sadie. What one would it be under? Handbills, maybe? Nope. Um, notes. List of debtors. Nope. I'm looking for the, um, I'm looking for the, the, uh, the contract that we just wrote up with the bank. Let's camp down. Oh, it's in the journal. Okay. See it. It is what it is. All right, so now let's see. Um, 
Now that we own the place, is there anything we can do here with it? Doesn't seem like we have any missions. It seems like the next thing we have to do is go up and meet up with Sadie. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go link up with Sadie. It's been a while. She's one of my favorite characters in the whole game. So it is pretty exciting. To go link back up with her. But we are going to have to do a little bit of hunting while we're on our way out because we have no food. No food at all. Um, why the hell did I come back in here? We're heading down to Blackwater. We'll take the train. There's a train in Blackwater, right? Yep, we're here. Make sure we don't get jumped. Oh, dude, we can hunt one of the freaking bison. That'd be good meat right there. Um, I don't know if the Carcano is strong enough to take out one of them. I think it's the strongest rifle I have, though. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so we're going to go with the... Express ammo. Should be able to get a decent amount of meat off of this. Whoa, How long would it take you to walk from one end of the map? Oh, Jack Daniels. I would say, right? I don't know how far over the map goes this way. But let's say you walked... Like, let's say you walked the perimeter of this map, right? Just all the way around. <laughs> Dude. Come on, lady. Real life hours, bro. Hours. Now, if you were to just walk from, like, one side to the other. I don't know. 30, 40, maybe minutes out of... Depend on how fast you're walking. So, can I not skin this guy? There we go. I don't gotta worry about them, like, stampeding me, right? Sell this pelt too. It's a good bison pelt. Probably fetch. Oh, five prime beefs. Oh, no, no. Pick it up. You're oh. a good filly. I hit, I hit the button to get on the horse instead of stowing the damn pelt. These aren't aggressive animals, right? Right. 
So we just got ourselves a good amount of meat there. Yeah, I'm really excited to go link up with Sadie, though. Zach, how you doing? I'm glad you're able to find some time, mother. How you doing? Drop this uh this pelt off. What's wrong with you? What the hell are they building here? Hello, you look hungry. What's your boy and what you selling? So we'll sell that. Um Keep those. So we're up to thirty-three dollars, guys. We're making big money. Well, as you please. Looks like they're building something nice here. All right, where the hell's the train station at? Is there no train station here? Guys, does the train not run through Blackwater? It doesn't. Oh, crap. I did not know that. Blackwater doesn't even have the train. What's wrong with you? Yeah, they got the wagon over here we can take. Take a ride. We're going to head over to Valentine. Yo, it's been a while since we've been to Valentine. Valentine's where it all began. Caught a that good nap. Um, let's stop by the stables really quick. I'm going to buy some snacks for my horse. Now that I have a little bit of money, we should be able to... I should be able to uh, feed my horse. that father over here ever finished building his property that one that arthur was working with i don't remember where that was that was down there right oh he did look far the new century is just like the old one you don't say i guess the world keeps turning see you around just not the place be a good girl now what the hell is wrong with my horse why does it look like that it's so dirty Go to the train station in Valentine. 
Yeah, we could swing by the train station. Let me grab some food for my horse really quick. We'll, we'll go. We'll go check out the train station. The new show on we haven't seen. And that's that little building that, um, the guy that killed Arthur with the TB was building when we first came here. Um, look, it's all built. I wonder if that building in the top front of Valentine is done. Oh, we need to bring, we can bring our horse in. All right, girl. All right, so we need to get some, uh, we need to get some horse provisions. I, I haven't been able to feed my horse at all. Hello there. That horse doing all right? Uh, horse provisions. If you provisions. want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Yeah, we'll roll with, we can do carrot. That's... Got a handful of carrots. Yeah, Mr. Thomas Downs. It's a restaurant, guys. All right, we're gonna go check out the. Uh, we're still hanging people here. A veteran dude is still here. Can I get a few cents? Partner? Hey, brother. Hey there, mister. Hey there. Mind if I join you? Mind if I... If I talk to you? Fellas sometimes mind, and sometimes they don't mind, and... Ain't no way of knowing. I don't mind. Oh, I like you. You're kind. I like kindness. I ain't so kind. Now, that ain't true. Ain't true at all. Most folk won't spare me the time of day. But you did. You did. And it was real nice. Real nice. Can I... Can I hold you, mister? Whoa, I'm... <laughs> I got a woman. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean nothing by it. I just kind of like folk, but most folk don't like me. Ah, uh, no harm done. Ain't ever harmful to be held, mister. Only most folk find me creepy and, and strange, uh, which ain't nice. I guess not. What's your name? John. Or, uh, Jim. You don't know? That's funny. <laughs> used to know a fella. Damn, A bit too. like you. A few years back. Crazy kind of fella. But he had a heart on him. Talking about Arthur. What was his name? I forget. Funny face. Alan. Or something, I think. He didn't like me much, neither. But he was okay. I think he died. They always do. The good ones. He weren't a good one. He was, well, he was good and bad, and it's hard to say quite what he was in the end. That's so. Sure, that's so. I can kind of see that. Well, it's been fun talking, mister. My name's Mickey. All right, partner. Well, thanks for fucking making me sad, dude.
Hello. Welcome. How do you do? Mister? <gasps> Is that Mary Beth? Mary Beth. John? John, is it you? How the hell are oh, you? I'm very well. How are you? Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Abigail, is she? She's well. Jack's growing up. Sweet boy. Not anymore. <laughs> but, but he's okay. How are you? I'm well. I, I right now. Silly romances, but it's fun. Oh, it's such fun. <laughs> Do you? My pen name is Leslie Dupont. It's sort of French, sort of ambiguous. Well, the books are unambiguously awful, but they sell. Good for you. I'm so proud. I still think about you all. That was... That was quite a time. Yeah. Arthur. Arthur saved my life before he passed. I don't talk about him much but I think about him me too and Dutch <laughs> ran off someplace All aboard. such a shame last call oh, anyway John I better get on my train it's really lovely seeing you oh here is for you thank you take care now bye Now, Mary Beth was one of the good ones, you know what I mean? Her and Tilly were both, uh, they were both good. Nathan with the super chat, thank you so much. Head to Rhodes General Store. Oh man, we haven't been to Rhodes and We'll definitely make our way down there. Alright, let's go link up with Sadie. See another one of our old friends. But Nathan, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. I put my savings into booze again. What an idiot. Yeah, I actually should probably feed my horse, right? Here we go. Carrot. That's a girl. <laughs> Crazy how rundown Valentine still is. Is that what have I done? pink horse? How much you wanna bet that Sadie's freaking horse? Stay by this post. That's a really unique color horse right there. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What was that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. John Marston. Still a savage? Is good to see you. <laughs> Still a savage, what? dude. I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal, I'm usually. Then... Maybe. Come on then. Let's say bounty hunting. What? That's where are we headed? Strawberry. Well, I just came. New York. Just Ooh, came right. from Strawberry. What'd he do? 
Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pen. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something. Oh. 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 Can I continue? What's possessed? I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Well, getting the scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Yo, I'm gonna find Mike. I'm gonna, if we can find Micah, we're gonna find his ass. Oh my god. There was one person I want to kill in this game. It's him. Nathan Kirk, banker, bald, 45. Okay. okay. You hit him that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Banker, bald, 45. Howdy, ma'am. Hey, uh I've been a real fool and forgot to ask my friend Nathan Kirk where he's staying. You got any idea? He's a bald feller from New York. I'm sorry, I don't know. Thank you for your time. Like, if he's being hunted, why would he... I don't think he would want to be in a city like this. He's not bald. You, uh... You seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. All right. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. <gasps> Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Come on, then. We gotta get out of here. graceful as fuck, Remember, dude. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. He 
are you going? Shit. Why are you... Come on talk to us. I might have to kill this dude's horse. He's fucking hauling ass, man. There we go. Gotcha. What you caught there? Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are, you, how are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did Sadie's horses bad, took a shit. Bad. There is a difference. This is personal. Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so. All right, there we go. You. So we got some work we can do with uh, with Sadie, which is awesome. And our bank just got paid down by 60 bucks. Yeah, our loan just got paid down by 60 bucks. Yeah, see, so we got uh we got bounty missions in there that we can do with Sadie. I had that mission with Ham Hamish all the way up north, but we'll have to hold off on that for now. Alright, let's head back to Yeah, you can eat in this game. You can hunt, fish, eat, drink. Uh, Josh, we might play some more Mad Max tomorrow, brother, to be honest with you. Um, stay to the right here. We've got a couple of the rare animals. We are going to be fit. We are going to be hunting them all, though. Let's see what Uncle has for us. This looks like it might be, uh, might want to find a fence. Yeah, where is the closest fence? I mean, I could, I could ride up to Emerald Station on the train. Um... Or not, uh, yeah, we can head up here on the train and sell there. Rhodes also has a fence, too. So maybe we'll go back to Rig Station and then, uh, we'll go to Rhodes, check the general store, and we'll, uh, and we'll sell to the fence. Who, me? Why the fuck did he say that to me? I didn't even do anything. 
Easy now. Welcome, welcome. All right, so let's go ahead and get us a train ticket to Rhodes. Thanks. See you again soon. That bridge it should definitely has been what? It's been quite a few years. Yeah, there's all different types of fast travel, uh, T Dog. Oh, there's actually a stranger mission here. I'm bored with doing all the work around here, Wendell White. Well, I'm getting bored of you claiming you doing all the work, Mr. Black. I went the last time. Oh, it's the uh, prisoner. You're leaving me, huh? Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this then. Arthur, uh, yeah, Arthur linked up with these guys. They're going at it. What are you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. And I'll tell you, you lily living. Enough. Enough. Say, you two fools look like you've just run off from a chain gang. Yeah, what up? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. I thought we, we did this going to town to get for supplies. Arthur. As Arthur. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut up, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Well, do your goddamn favor. What do you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. If maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Yo, maybe we should turn these guys in, though. This time I could use the money. I only got 13 bucks. Okay, Missy. Bad weather coming in right now. Hey, uh, I need to get to that poster behind you. We move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move all right. How's this for moving? No damn manners. Why, why are you doing this to yourself, dude? You ain't the law, you know. All right, that's enough. Yeah, eighty dollars, guys. Forty dollars a piece. Yo, he runs the store? 
Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah! Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? So what can I get for you today, sir? What the fuck is this hat we're wearing? How the hell are you? Pretty good. Got some land in Great Plains. Trying to get a small ranch going. Really? Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Who'd have thought it? John Marston. Wow. Wow, dude. Yo, he owns his actual own store. That's crazy. Yeah, we grabbed the wrong hat. Of course, my horse took a sh fat shit. Hey, as bad as you made out there. Bad. Hey, we're looking for some escapees. Got posters all over town. If you'd like to help. Mr. Lawman? Up a feller's missing. Got posters up all over town. A white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Blake Wonder how I turn them both up. in, though. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Howdy, partner. Hey, out of the way. I'm on a tight schedule. Yeah, if, if, if we turn them in, that might be nice. Like I said, we might be able to get 80 bucks for this. Okay. Well, the thing is, I like a hog time. But, uh... Interesting. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm gonna need that poster off of you. Give it up. That ever worked before? Poster's mine, fella. And so are these bounties. Chance partner, you dirty bastard. Hey, hey, get this off of me. The hell are you doing? Turned over a new leaf, guys, so you guys know what that means. Lucifer. You don't got any. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's in here? Alright. So help me God you give that back. Um put one on your horse, last so the other guy drag him slowly. Leave one guy on your horse, carry the other guy. Oh, okay, okay, dirty. yep. So this is me Those doing things the nice way. He's in a good spot, guys. We did that the, the right way, guys. You're a good filly.
Uh, should be another bounty poster. Let's not get involved because I'll end up having to fucking shoot up the whole town. Damn. No, oh, Todd, you can't turn them in beforehand. It, you, it gives you the choice when you uh, when you get up to them. All right, is there one down here? Maybe in the. Generally put them in here. Yep. Howdy. The new century appears to have done nothing to civilize. Come on, lady. All right, let's do it. I feel bad for doing this, but hey, it is what it is. We, we need the money. This game makes it. This game is my number one favorite game, Zach. Saddle. Number one, dude. Hey, friend. Hello. How was in town? Pretty hot. It got quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder? It was self-defense. You killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Well... Shit. Uh-uh. Shit. Sorry about this, gentlemen, but I need the money. You boys are coming with me. Uh-uh. Ah. Uh. Off me. Off me. You really gonna do me like this? I ain't, I ain't going down easy. Son of a bitch. Damn your eyes. Sorry, dudes. Pleased to see you, huh? I'll, I'll spit in his eye. And I'll spit on you when I get the chance. <laughs> With self defense. Whatever it was is your business. And mine's the reward money. I should have known what you was when I, when I saw you. Feel so wrong. But, hey. Now he's got both of us. We got out together, we'll go back together. It's just business, Maybe guys. Hang us together too. Horace, come here, Let's dude. Get. Hey, here. No, sir. So when we were playing as Arthur, damn, this is a hell of a storm. We, uh, I let these guys go, but then the mission respawned, and now we're playing as John, and we can use now, the money. Let's get you to the jailhouse. You know what they'll do to me for killing a bastard that needed a killing? 
There's you thinking I care about anything other than the price on your head. Cold bastard! And I should get eighty dollars from this, and this—that's—that's that's big. Well, oh, my bad, dude. Hey, if they're innocent, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be. It'll, that's not. That's not. I'm just doing my job. You know what I mean? Loot him? Shit, if I loot him now, I'm gonna... Can I loot him now? No, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I didn't see the option to loot You're them. Coward. You can't loot them. Chain gang. I knew they was round here. Put them in the cell. Damn you, traitorous bastard. <laughs> the other one? Be in shortly. Good work, son. You devil. Running away yep. were my nice. way, okay? The other one, black, he had the plan. Yeah, all right, it's turning on each other. It ain't too late. Let me go. Two makes a pair. Well done, sir. Well done. Put them in the cell for me. Sheriff? Now, Sheriff, you got to look at my case. That was extenuating. Uh, the son of a bitch deserved it. I can't go back to the chain gang, Sheriff. Give me the guy that was any day of the week. That's the price for the two escaped convicts. You know, they were all right fellas. So this will way heavy on me, but coins will help. There it is. We're already up to almost a hundred bucks. Very good morning to you. Now let's go hit the fence, and we're gonna be in good shape. We'll be in good shape. Oh right, we should we should be good, guys. Um, the the game did its little crash thing again, and this time it absolutely just decimated my whole system. I had to close everything. Um, give me one sec. All right, there we go. Literally had to reset everything. All right, we should be back in business, though. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's done it a couple times since we've been playing through the game. Um, it. Like, I'd say, you know, out of the hundred and almost 30 hours I have in the game, I've probably had it happen maybe like five times. 
six times maybe. So it's not like it happens all the time, but when it does happen, oh, it's pretty annoying. It is pretty annoying. All right, so let's make our way over to the fence. Um, get our finances right. Okay. What the hell talking about that boy you got killed in Rhodes? To have them all shook up. Surely not the first time. <laughs> All right, so the fence is, I believe, down this road over here. Yep. Over in the back side here. Welcome, mister. First time to my shop. All right. Um. Oh, we actually have a lot of stuff. This is so... Can't sell. No, that's Mary's ring. Damn. So this large jewelry bag, $50. That's crazy. Catherine's brooch, that's $25. We get 10 for that. Hmm. Hello, sir. So Glad we're sitting at about 221. Right. Sitting at about 221, guys. You're a good girl now. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, could take the stagecoach now that we're good. We got we met with Pearson. Yeah, we're good. So we're gonna ride back to Blackwater. We're gonna go link up with Uncle. They're already making payments towards our loan, too. Wonder if I do I have anything else? I think I think that was all I had for valuables. Thank you. There's coach. Fancy ride? Yes, sir. Give me a ride. Can you give me a ride? Cool. Where, Where are you going today? Blackwater. Go $10, to Black man. You want to get comfortable? This will be a long one. How do you, I I don't know how we improved the ranch yet, Ty. That's what we're about to go find out right now. Come on. But I can't believe Pearson owns his own store now. It's it's awesome to see, you know, the 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 survivors of the gang, like a lot of them are are doing good. Easy. You know, like Micah Dutch. Who else was shooting at us? I think Bill. All those guys need to catch a bullet, but. Sunshine, we're at your stop. Thank you. Come on, lady. All right. Morning. We'll do some more missions with Sadie too, some more bounties later on. Uh, Pearson, the uh, cook, the old cook from our shop owns uh, owns his, the shop there in Rhodes.
I mean, it feels good playing John. I don't, I don't mind playing John. It's sad, you know, like, I, I was so attached to Arthur, but this is good. You know what I mean? This is good. John's trying to live that life that Arthur wanted for him. We're getting there. And th this gang is really, really aggressive here. Here's our property, guys. Fucking man, every time I see a little shack, it pisses me off. <laughs> It doesn't get any bigger. Working hard? <coughs> it's the lumbago. I have I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> Get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town. And, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. What? Like Charles Charles? Here we are. Come on, let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. I got a question, guys. Because I don't, I don't remember. I mean, you don't have to answer it. Because we'll find out. Um, but I played Red Dead Redemption 1. Are any of these people in Red Dead Redemption 1? Like, is Charles in it? Is Sadie in it? Is uncle in it? Like, are any of these people in Red Dead 1? Or do they kind of just poof? All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slum. Nah, how about I take the saloons? I'll you take the slums. So I know Dutch is in it. All right, so we got to hit both the saloons. My horse is over here. Wouldn't that be cool if Mary Beth was in it? Right in her books. All right, so we're going to head up uh, the fence. Why is the fence highlighted? What's that, a saloon? Put the saloon first. Javier, brother, thank you so much for the dono. Uh, grandfather, when I was your age, I used to go to the market with $1 and bring home soap, rice, milk, bread, face power, etc. Grandson, nowadays it's difficult. <laughs> there are CCTV cameras everywhere. <laughs> oh, Javier, brother, thank you so much for that, man. I do appreciate it. All right, what's up? What's Morning, mister. Yo. 
Tandini is such an awesome city, man. Morning, mister. Oh, these guys look like Charles. Hey, partner. You seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure. I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. St. Saturnine's? Where the hell is that? Okay, that's around the corner. Morning, sir. I'm surprised Charles, like, Charles, like, was supposed to, like, um, help that tribe out. I thought he was gonna, like, embed himself with that tribe. Min, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. So it's a long way around. was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. Folks, he told me Charles was here. <laughs> they hate Not massacre. one of life's great and mysteries, you are turns a out. <laughs> we both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of, just... I don't know. I, I'm i throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. Then you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive too, only... She left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself. To win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Oh, yeah, we'll bet on Charles. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you. An epic battle between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not-so-noble savage. On my left, a ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Injun Hercules. The savage, the untamable. The unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. Come on, Charles, I'd bet a lot of money on you, brother. Come on, there he is. Get him, Charles. Hit him, Charles. Get him. Come on, Lone Wolf. Gotta get you the hell out of here. Hey! Lone Wolf! Whoa! Ha! Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed, I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. 
But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside San Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few errands to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Damn, yeah, we got 40 bucks from that. This way. Uh, my bag's on the dockside. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. So I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Yeah, rattle him or, or give him some kind of understanding what his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all of you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but one thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since, well, that time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or... Since before I got off Sisica, they picked up Strauss, the agents. Excuse me. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. What? Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Oh, Everything that happened, all those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for. We were on a very bad path. What the hell is your problem? Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Be careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left. I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> you couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight! Evidently! <laughs> what are those guns they have? What? You don't have to. Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. Dead or alive, Ben? Hey okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. Santa Nee ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in... ...his pocket. If they take us in... ...we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever Ooh. want to go back, remind me that I hate 
Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, I own a couple Mausers already. Charles. <laughs> You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. Crap items at the main campfire. Oh, look at this place. We'll do one more mission with uh, Uncle. Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things are we re getting like the gang back time. together. Here he goes. What I tell you, Charles, boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired two dollar whore would stay with you. That's the guy. Cryptic, it's truth. going good, brother. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. <laughs> oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my Damn. worst enemy to take a shit in. What are uh, you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house that a lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. <laughs> no woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> Damn, Uncle you White. I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. We only got two horsepower You're here. You want to pull that horse, or I got to give it a kick? You're strong, man. Come on. Hey, look at this house. It had good bones, guys. It had good bones. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's going to tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Okay. Well, we, uh, we ripped it down. We got a camp, like, built over here. You know, it's starting to remind me of camp. When the old gang was back together. We're getting there, guys. All right, let's head into town. Buy a house out of a magazine. Oh, my, my fence is down.
I was gonna say, back in the day, uh, I, I legitimately think you could buy your house out of a book. Um, one of these guys I used to work with was explaining it to me. Uh, he was an older gentleman, and uh, he was telling me how, you know, back in the day, you're able to literally go through a magazine and pick your house and they'd bring it out and build it. Was it the Sears Modern Homes? That's what they were called? I mean, you can kind of still do... It's the same thing nowadays, you know what I mean? But, um... Like, you go and... Now you now you go to a, a big area, at least where I am. They have, like, big open areas, and they'll have, like, a bunch of staged homes, and you walk up, and, you know, you can walk through the houses and just say, I want this one. So where's the house, people? Where do I buy the home from? Look out! Howdy, mister. Do we gotta buy it from the general store? Asian Comics, I really appreciate that, okay, brother. Missy. Look for the yeah. lumber yard. Okay. This looks like the lumber yard to me. Oh, I gotta do Sadie's quest first. That makes sense. So say I'm, I'm. I, this looks like the damn lumber yard to me. Cakes lumber. I think maybe we got to do Sadie's mission first. Or maybe it's in here in the office. Yeah, office is locked. Our Rag Alpha, thank you so much for the sub. How you doing today? Guys, I really do want to tell you all, thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Almost 450 likes on the stream. Um, all the new channel members, thank you all so much for the support and the love. You guys are amazing. Okay, so we'll knock out Sadie's mission first. Hopefully she's not stabbing people in here. No, she looks a lot more. Hello, Sadie. Oh, no, she definitely has a oh, gun out. John, <laughs> come sit down. Sure. You uh, got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you exactly? Me? In my time, all three. Same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? 
Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. <laughs> yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. We're heading south. How much more south can we go? Like, not much... They're about to be at the water. Hello? Hello there. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh. Hello, mister. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but... That's it, for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north, or gone off somewhere else, or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er... Where the hell are we headed? Oh shit. There's more area or even like right here, guys. Wanna talk about it? Well maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. I hear that. The offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but. You heard anything of Dutch? Good fishing down here. Look at that. Eve's Landing, is that called? Oh shit. How far over does this go? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang? changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But... Uh, not now. Come on.
Yeah, I did not know that. Yo, that's so crazy that there's this big of map left over. And what is it, just for the epilogue? They have this whole section? Wow, look at that, dude. There's a spot up ahead. Wow, look how far down this is. Holy shit. Where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. It's the RDR1 so, map. James Langton, the bounty hunter. He's got this outlaw you captured in a women's Look at these canyons. House. Shane Finley. Correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers. Correct again. Though the giving back part is Paulty, optimistic. thank you for the sub. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. We got Mr. White and Mr. Black. Oh my God, dude, that is gorgeous. Yo, can you go down there? This is the place. It's a view, all right. Yo, can you actually go down there or is that just draw a distance? I think that might just be draw distance. I think that's the end of the map here. So imagine if you could go over to that. I think I think that's just like the draw distance. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Oh shit! You can really go down there, dude. Be quicker if we both look. You got binoculars, don't you? I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Mm. Come on. Let's go follow them. Yo, this is freaking crazy. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. Okay, let me make sure I got my gun. So we got our Evans and I'll run the Carcano. I just can't get over how big this is. They'll be coming through here. Too bad Arthur didn't get to come over here. Whoa! There they, there they are. are. We follow and keep an eye on them. So they're making their way through the canyon. We're kind of just creeping on up top. Don't want to go over that butte. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? You, you talking to me or Langton? Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at him. You know his thinking pretty well. Mm -hmm. If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. Oh fuck, dude! The Let's canyon go. opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Get off your horse. This might be our chance. Yeah, they're stopping. 
And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Um, let's yeah, sneak down. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's we're just go. playing some Future Soldier. As you guys know, we're. Uh, last stream we did before this one, we were playing some Ghost Recon. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. I'm not worried about it, Sadie. I'm not worried about it. Two guys, blow us. Let's get closer. See three guys, Sadie. We can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. You gotta throw a knife in his neck. That was clean. Okay, let's move. Cosmic okay. Midnight Stream, thank you so much for the super chat. Seriously, thank you so much. Yeah, it is actually pretty late. I didn't even realize it's almost one for me. Come on. Eyeball fucking. The the eyeball fell out, I think. Holy shit. I think Sadie did that shit on purpose, but.
Like how Slough is Langley, right? Langley? There's, there's Langley. You're dead. Hell, that's what you get for robbing me, Langton. Shit, that damn harpy. What's in here? Let's get Finley. Langton. Get him out. Here. Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Are you with her? What's it look like? Get him up there! Come on! You're a good Philly. Oh, help me! Down the canyon! Let's ride! Let's ride! Jesus, man. That was crazy. I clean my guns. I got ebony and ivory. Yeah, this better be a pretty good bounty. That was, um... That was intense. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep. Okay, so where are we pushing to right now? Are we pushing back up to Blackwater? Guys, look how far over this map goes. I did not expect it to come down that far. And so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. <laughs> I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed. Kidnap me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnap me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. Now, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. How'd it work ain't easy, John? No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And Peace we thank you so much for hanging out today. There will be more demand for our service. Go to sleep. You're, oh, I thought you were saying you're going to sleep. Yeah, I go to sleep. You're lying. You know I wake I'm up. You're lying. Hey, Mostly. I try to get that full coverage, Peace. I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. 
but it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. All right, let's do it. You're a bitch and a bastard. Oh, there. Brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Damn you! I hate you. He's pissed. I object to this. That's your cell at the end there. We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, it's all yeah. Right. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh... I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. $200. That was big money right there, guys. Let me actually check my, uh... Check our guns. Yeah, so they're pretty good, but yeah, these are my babies. You guys haven't seen this is Ebony. Hola. You forget what you were doing or something? We keep her clean. Or no, this is Ivory, my bad. So this is Ivory. And I'll show you guys my other baby. Every day is the same. This is Ebony. We keep her clean. Our nice little Lamats. My smile or somebody else's smile? Need a gun, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. So, okay, yeah. So now the lumber yard is open. So what we're going to do is, uh, yo, I wonder if there's, I mean, we're like right down the road from, let's go see. Let's go see if they're still open. How are you? Right. Is there a gun store here in uh, Blackwater? No, there isn't. <clears throat> I can't prove it, but the bank's stealing my money. I swear. Yeah, our horse is super dirty, actually. Go on, girl. Oh, I can brush the horse while I'm on it? How did I just now find this out? <laughs> 130 hours later. We need to get some, uh... We gotta get some of this damn venison up, guys. Need I need to do some cooking. We gotta we gotta we gotta do some hunting and some cooking. I got some bison meat that we can cook up. Um I can't properly fill up my cores. No, no, I don't I don't wanna hear it. Nobody has told me that I can I can uh you know, brush the horse while riding it. I don't wanna hear it. Lies. And guys, thank you so much. 466 likes. That is huge, guys. Huge. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. 
Some dumb old coot, I know. Yeah. Tell me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. How much are we talking, partner? Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there, and you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. Yeah, so they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. Yo, look at all this stuff we just got. I quickest way. Follow me. Hey, maybe, we should, maybe we should drop it off first. Do you know what I mean? Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash, though it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. <laughs> Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Tell that to you Arthur Morgan, because I'm pretty sure I just shot him in the face. Instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrent. So well, I'll sit here looking big and scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I never even see. I just I'll seen somebody just sitting that. up there. I just it, it just pops in my I've head. That's another guy to shoot. Thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Okay, let me see here. Hey! We're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. I think he was telling me something. People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays. No, I didn't shoot so Arthur. I was saying really when I was playing there. as Arthur, I, don't even I would just shoot it. everybody in the stage coach. I'm on my wife <laughs> and the little ones. I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. 
Norwegian, you see? Where the hell are we? Are we headed up toward like Strawberry or something? No, man. This is this is just out past Blackwater. This whole another part of the map. I I didn't expect it to be this um wooded down here. Viking blood. This is a, there, this looks really pretty. With a hammer. Guess it figures they still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Neil's nose too. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. Like I said, Nils is a an acquired taste. Let me do the talking. Uh, there he is, working away. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Have you got any made? Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Like I said, an acquired taste. Okay. A heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time. I'm gonna come back and they? shoot that guy for trolling Took us. Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. It seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs men like you. And men like... Whoa! Everyone find some cover! Shit, dude. God damn. Keep your head down! Who are these people? It's the Skinner! You okay? Devin, you okay? Yes. Is that the last of them? I think so. There's more! They got the tools! They grabbed Mr. Wayne! All right, you stay here, guard the wagons. Charles, come on! <laughs> Mr. Milton, Mr. Smith! Help! Help me! Oh, you can't kill me! 
I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. The one up there has an angle on us. It's still up there, high in the tree. Okay, let's move. He took him down the hill. Show yourself, Travis. We've come the right way! Hold it up! I can smell your from here. You we gotta clear this bitch. fella! Come find us if you can! I wanna slice you up! Skin of all! They're down the hill! They're on top of us! He's charging! We have You should go! Please! God no! I hope so! They're like ghosts! No! What the hell are they doing? Come on, but we're more in them! They are! Mr. Wayne, we're right here! Oh, where they stand? How's your hair, dog? See anything? Hold on, Mr. Wayne! Prepare to see you! Cleared him. Keep going. Where's Wayne? Mr. Wayne! Charles, I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Shit. All right. Jesus. Poor dude, man. Gotta move fast. Come on. Let me get that tool out of his eye, though, Charles. Let's go. We need that Back to build the, the house. God damn it. A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinner. Everyone knows. Except me. Later, John. There's a lot of them dudes. You all right carrying them? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he... Is it... Bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! Uh-huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me! All right, let's get out of here. Oh, my Lord. What'd they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it? Come on. Do, do we still got to pay him if he's dead? Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. I mean, Mr. Wayne, he was, back to beaches. he was talking all that tough stuff, and then he, he was the first one to die. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something, too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Then I hope we put an end to it. There was a caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uncle! Uncle! Oh, oh. Uncle! I was... You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Whoa. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. 
Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Bad business. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. Yeah, I wish they would remake RDR1 in like the RDR2 engine. It'd be so good. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Bank loan received. Oh, wow, yeah. So we, we, we put quite a bit of money Morning. or uh, quite a bit of Bro. debt into the. So did we start building the house yet? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think, just to be safe. This will probably I'll be the last the mission I do, um, Battle do for the tonight. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Arthur Morgan with well, the sub. It's too soon, brother. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now, come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Well, that's a lot of work. Laying a full brick foundation. This is huge. Ass house, man. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever, no matter what the weather, we're together. Cosmic, thank you so much for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Oh, yeah, we're super demonetized, but it's all good.
let me have a rule and a saw and a board and I'll cut it. Damn! Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we work so hard to build a little house together. In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. Why is Amanda starting in random spots? <laughs> and I think that's everything! <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool. And I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours. And we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. That shit looks awesome. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? There it is, guys. We built our house. Let's give this thing a, let's give this thing a little check, so... Got our porch here. What the fuck is that? Is that shit? Get the fuck out of my house, dude. Looks like a fucking bachelor's pad for sure, dude. It's their kitchen. Some stuff. 
storage up here. It's a nice place. I mean, definitely needs a woman's touch, that's for sure. I don't know where the bathroom is, guys. I don't think, I, at this point, I don't think houses had bathrooms, did they? Didn't they, didn't they use outhouses at this point in time? Damn, we even have like a little like barn back here. Nice. I like it. I think it's nice. All right, guys. So we will end it here tonight. Um, we made some damn progress with John. We made some progress with John. Uh, we went from a farm hand, a farm hand to uh, owning our own land and building our own house. Like there it is. This is our land. But, um, yeah, so we're going to continue with this, obviously. Um, absolutely blown away on how much map is actually still, like, unexplored. It's crazy. Uh, like I told you guys, I'm going to still be doing all of the legendary fish, all the legendary hunts, and any little side quests like this that we miss, plus, obviously, the main missions. Uh, bounty hunts and stuff like that we're going to be doing so thank you everybody so much for hanging out today i'm hoping that you guys are enjoying this once we beat red dead redemption 2 uh and it's and and do all the things that i just told you that i want to do that's that's what i mean by beat um then we're going to go ahead and we are going to play red dead redemption 1 and then once we beat rdr1 we will try the undead nightmare uh dlc or game i don't know if it's game or dlc uh but it's like the zombie survival thing for red dead so that that's the plan that's the plan and i'm pretty sure red dead one is gonna hit super different after playing red dead two and i'm really really excited so thank you all so much for almost 500 likes on the stream if you have it on your way out smash that like button if you guys are enjoying the content um, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps out. And uh, other than that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.